Hi everyone, I wanted to talk to you today about um, the, my new bullet journal. I've done um, a video on my planners earlier on this year, but um, I decided it really did need a little bit of streamlining. And just when I was looking, you know, bullet journals came up and I think it was Boho Berry I saw and I realised this would be the perfect thing because it can hold everything in the one book plus it um, it's straight and to the point you know it's simple and all that sort of thing now a lot of people use the proper bullet journal notebook with the dots but I didn't want to do that straight away because I don't know if you know it would be my sort of thing so I wanted to parts for these. I had these, it's called New Era and uh, I only got them for about £5 in the local store. So I had to try it with this first of all. Now I don't like to start in the middle of the month so I want to start it in April but I have set up my pages for April so I just wanted to show you what I've done. Now bear in mind I'm new to this so you know, I've taken ideas from other people, tried a few different things myself, and I'll probably tweak it all through the year. So anyway, we'll start. And inside, that's just the front page, there's just, you know, the page there just with my name and email address, and then I just a picture, because I like images. Uh, this page is my index, I kept it pretty simple, and there's my key. And this is the the first page for April, which is the April monthly, and then my tasks and goals. And I've seen somebody do this where they split it up into four sections like that. So it's um, for these tasks and goals for April is personal, my writing, work, and hobbies. Then we have the plan with me challenge, and this is. Nadjo Rimo, which is National Journal Writing Month, which is in April, and the theme for it is personal renewal. So I'm wanting to do that. So that's just got you know the 30 days. Um April Memories, my April tracker. This page I actually messed up, so I had a picture of a, an owl. And um, I just put that, and then the quote, the wisdom you seek is already within you. Now, my handwriting is pretty bad when I'm trying to do the, this, so I need some more practice with that. Now, this is the start of my daily pages, and i seen, it was a lady who did, she called it omni-journaling. She used her bullet journal as a sketchbook as well. Now, I'm not an artist, so probably won't be drawing in this, but she did sort of do vintage looks to her pages. And I really liked that, and it was just done by watercolour. And uh, I thought I'd take it, diff you know, add to it as well. So this was just watercolour, and then I put the washi around. She did, like, one day, one page to a day, but she had sketches and that on it. And uh, like I say, I don't sketch. And that was just a, a stamp that had of a gothic teacup, which I really liked. And this is your Rock Your Handwriting Challenge, which I'll be doing. This is from the book Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert, which I really loved and it just really spoke to me. And that's just some of the quotes from it as well, which, uh, you know, I really liked. More daily images, papers, I should say, pages even. There we go. Um, that was just something I did, you know. I don't know. I just felt like going in. And then this is um, reading quotes because I'm a, a big reader as well and yeah I was just on I really liked this image because I think I did a book junk journal and I did one for myself and I really like this because I'm a fantasy book reader and this is one of my favorite authors who's Anne Bishop and she wrote the Black Jewel series and this is just, um, this is the actual Black Jewels novels and then it's her other works down here. And I'll probably put an author a month, I think, I'd like to do. Um, I have a YouTube channel called TBR Book Pile Monster. 
because of a huge to be read book file and so this is just to keep track I meant to put the TV on all the way I forgot but that's the image you use of the book um, so this I'll hopefully write down what books I've read uh, this is my brain dump page more daily pages um, Camp NaNoWriMo which is in April as well I'm going to be doing a lot of writing in April with my journals and this and this is just uh, like the one in November you can this one you can actually set your word goals and um, but I've just stuck with the 50,000 like the November one and the novel I'll be working on is called the three wishes routine this is my YouTube and blog ideas uh, some pictures I actually messed up this page I started something and then I realized it's actually next month it needs to be done for and um, so I just put in some images more daily pages I really like this washi tape that I got very nautical um, some craft events um, I'm in two or three groups on Facebook or more than two or three groups uh, but one is for junk journal junkies and this is my Alice in Wonderland journal salt for that and then I just put a quick note of what is needed and that's due the 1st of April there's a flip book which is also an Alice in Wonderland due the 23rd of April and another junk journal on the 28th of April which is a vintage garden theme I've actually already done this one um, but the, uh, it's ready for the event um, I'm working on this one and then I've started this one this page is my pen pal track I've not written anything in yet because I want to keep it private not that I'll be putting anybody's addresses in because just in case this book does get lost I don't want you know people's private address in but I will put other details in so that is just probably just mainly um, when I received their letter and when I sent one back because I do think, I think all right I'll get that reply written you know the beginning of the week and then all of a sudden a couple of weeks have gone by so that is hopefully to keep me on track it makes me sound like a terrible pen pal pardon me um, and then there's just the last of the daily pages and this book good grief these pages, this spread here, is the April monthly roundup. I've not seen anybody else do this sort of thing, but I'm sure somebody will have done it. And essentially, this is it's different from the April memories because I wanted to because I'm also working on like shadow work and other self love things. So April will be what I've learned, and then what I need to work on, and then I can just migrate these two then for next month and maybe work on them and that is it so far that is what I have um like I say this notebook it was it wasn't it was only five pounds in my local store and uh, I've actually got two of them I added it has its own ribbon that matches the cover if you can see there and I added in another couple I just glued it into the spine which is quite simple to do and that gives me more to do there so yep yeah, that is just the start of my bullet journal and I really like the fact you know it's got some of the the watercolour daily pages which really makes them stand out and uh, yeah I'm really looking forward to getting it started uh, it took me hmm, maybe three or four days to get all this in you know, because I also have work in the middle of it. I won't necessarily take that long to do it, um, do it all at once for the following month, for me. Because that would just be silly, really. Um, I'll do it a little bit at a time, but hopefully this has given me a head start. And um, I'm really looking forward to the 1st of April to can actually start using it properly. And I'll fill in a few other things, like these things here. I'll fill in beforehand to keep me on track. So there we have it, that is my very first bullet journal and uh, I hope you guys liked it. Okay, bye.